Tommy Runyon with Maryville Livestock. Had a little bit of run this last week. Had 512 head all together. Several cows. The cow market continues to be awfully good. I believe our high fat cow was at a buck 33. I believe our high bull was at 166 or 7. Uh, that market continues to be awfully good. Uh, plenty of cows still moving. Uh, the uh, light cattle yesterday, we didn't have a great showing of cattle under five and a half. Uh, most of our cattle were a little bigger grazers and some big feeders. Had a load of big feeder steers, weighed 978, awful nice kind, awful nice condition, uh, 214.75. Uh, a little lighter end of them, weighed 882, brought two and a quarter. Uh, had a nice set of 42 or three head of really green, mainly black steers, uh, grazers. Weighed 677 at 280. Uh, and then sold one uh, smaller deal of good black steers, uh, weighed 950 at uh, 211. Heifers, we had uh, a few nice big heifers, uh, some at 918, 201. 875 at 203, uh, getting down again to some of those grazing weight heifers, 678 at, at uh, 220, uh, nice set of 701 pound heifers at 222. Uh, just continue to have you know a good grazing market, probably have uh, about three more weeks of a real strong grazing market and I think that will get us filled up in the Flint Hills at that point, starting to see a few people drop out at this point. Uh, if uh, we could figure out what's going on with the board, uh, you know, it looks like we've got excellent demand everywhere. The the uh, index, can, you know, is, is rising again this last week, and yet we're again today taking two or three dollars off the board, the fats and the feeders. You, you got me guessing because I sure don't know, but uh, it looks like to me there's a lot of opportunity out there. We'll see y'all next week.